dear viewers welcome to my channel my name is Arif in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to quickly calculate percentage in Excel calculating percentage uh, can be a bit challenging for many people especially students learning uh, you know at the school college university so if you please watch me very carefully I'm sure your problems will be solved today I have got some scenarios here like let's read uh, the instruction uh, assume your teacher at the school or manager at work has asked you to calculate the following figures according to the instructions below so basically our figures are here so salary 10,000 for January so basically we consider January as the current month and February the next month so we'll be doing everything based on January for the month of February okay so under items what we can see salary rent advertising insurance travel home commissions so now in order for us to actually work on this we need to uh, read these instructions uh, increase salary by 10% for your convenience I have put next to the item here as well even though um, you know uh, when you study or at work you may not get it like this but for your just convenience as I mentioned I have put it this way so what the instructions say here increase salary by 10% so we have to increase this ten thousand dollars by extra ten percent okay so if I ask you to make like hundred dollars uh, you know to increase by another ten percent uh, you can say on the top of your head that it would be hundred and ten dollars but if I ask you to do 550, 15%, uh, then it can be a bit challenging. That's what I mean. So that's why we need to learn all the tricks. And I'd like to show you the simplest way of uh, making all this. So going forward, increase rent by 20%, increase advertising by 30%, increase insurance by 2%. Now, for some items, we have to actually decrease, like travel expense by 10%. Uh, reduce phone bill by 5% and finally we have to calculate 3% of current salary to make commissions for next month so what we are going to do the first one is salary if you understand salary very well I'm sure uh, from rent uh, up to uh, insurance should be okay so we are going to do it for the month of February so in this cell we put the cursor and I'm sure I told uh, in one of my previous uh, tutorials that any formula we calculate in Excel uh, should start with equal sign so you should carefully choose equal sign so which is next to backspace uh, on your keyboard so you press equal okay then we are going to do based on ten thousand dollars here like ten percent increase so ten thousand we click then we look for the multiplication sign we also call it like into you know when we do the calculation of math so which is on num lock you can see it on the num lock on the right hand side of your keyboard uh, and generally in between uh, division and minus sign so we press that one and then now there's the hardest part uh, what we have to do we have to increase by 10 percent so what we have to do there are different ways of doing this but the simplest way as i mentioned is one one stands for actually 100 here, so we are getting 100%. So that's actually, you know, uh, 10,000. Then point one again, that one is actually 10%. Okay, so if we do point two, that will mean 20%. If we do point three, that will mean 30%. So uh, as mentioned in the question, we have to increase salary by 10%. So we do here 1.1. And what we do, we just press enter on the keyboard. And it will give us um, uh, 11,000 that's how we actually get 10% so if you put the cursor back and you can see here in this um, formula bar 1.1 so that's how we get so extra $1,000 is the 10% okay uh, that we have increased by so now going forward if we do for rent we do the same step we're so putting the equal sign again then click on four thousand dollars then multiplication sign then 1.2 okay hit enter it gives us four thousand eight hundred so this eight hundred dollars is the twenty percent of that um, uh, four thousand dollars that's the increase 
Now accordingly we are going to do uh, advertising, so 2500 multiplied by 1.3, hit enter, we get 3250. Okay, so insurance by 2%. So that's where many students get confused. So when I ask like in the class that, you know, after pra practicing like 20%, when I ask them 2% after a while, then they again say 1.2. But that's wrong actually, because 1.2 is 20%. But when you do 2%, okay, we need to be smart here to be able to do it correctly. So 1 point actually 0 to not 2. Just think about it. If we do 0, 05, that will mean actually 5%. If we do 0, 09, that will mean 9%. If we do, uh, then again after 9, it will be 1, it will be actually 10%. If we need to do 90%, then it will be 1 point actually 9. And that will mean actually 9, 0. Okay. So then hit enter, then we get actually 2% of it. Now this time, uh, we are going to actually do the other way around, like decrease. To decrease, there is a different formula that we have to actually follow. So the travel is $2,000, so we have to decrease it by 10%. So that means 10% will be off this $2,000 for the month of February. So what we have to do, we actually do the equal sign, as mentioned, for any formula all the time, we have to start with uh, equal sign. Okay, then we again click 2000 then minus sign and we put a bracket to do the bracket we have to press the shift and this generally number nine on the keyboard because above nine there is a bracket so there's the that's what we need to actually choose then we put two thousand dollars okay then times uh, ten percent so shift key and then percentage which is generally on number five on the keyboard okay so shift key and the number five and we get the percentage because we are trying to get ten percent ten percent of these uh two thousand dollars okay and we'll be deducting from it to two thousand so after that what you have to do you have to close the bracket by uh pressing shift key and uh zero on the keyboard so that's actually the closer of the bracket and then we hit enter. So we we can see that we have reduced it by uh, $200. That $200 is actually 10% of $2,000. That's what the question is asking us to do. Now we have to do uh, the phone bill in the similar fashion. So we do the equal sign, click $500, put minus sign, bracket, then $500 multiplied by 5% this time. So if it's 20%, we have to put 20. If it's 2%, we have to put 2. That's how we do. And then the percentage sign. Okay. So we are reducing it by actually $25. Because $25 is the 5% of $500. Now, finally, the commissions. What the instruction is for commission that calculate 3% of current salary. So the current salary is $10,000, so we have to get 3% of it. So this is a little bit, you know, different because so far what we have, we have done, we have actually added the extra percentage amount, but this time we are simply getting the 3% of the salary. So we are not going to actually add anything or reduce anything. This time we are going to actually get extra, you know, 3% of $10,000. So what do you have to do? Equal sign. 10,000 multiplication sign and 3% It's very simple actually it's much sim simpler than the, the other ones we have done so we get $300 so $300 is actually 3% of 10,000 so if we need to get 30% I'm sure it will be you know uh, uh, $3,000 that will be 30,000 on the top of our head but if you uh, come across any tricky you know amounts like 9,800 and your teacher uh, or your manager is asking you to calculate like 4.9% uh, of that amount, then obviously you cannot do it on the top of your head. So you have to actually use uh, either a calculator or Excel spreadsheet. So dear viewers, uh, please watch this clip uh, repeatedly because you may be confused um, if 
you have never done this before or you haven't done for a while so please do some practice and if you have any queries in relation to uh, calculations uh, in Excel uh, similar to this please uh, drop some comments under this video thank you very much for watching if you like this video clip please do not forget to put your thumbs up comment share and subscribe to this channel thank you very much you know she's never gone.